Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle SBase Calc Scripts. This video explains the Boolean function with the terribly fun name is member with attribute. Is member with attribute answers a very simple question. Does the member I'm calculating have this attribute? For those of you who have seen the syntax of the with attr function, this will look really similar because this function is basically is member wrapped around with attr attribute dimension, operator, and value. Attribute dim is quite simply the name of an attribute dimension, like ounces or package type. Operator is some sort of Boolean comparison, less than, greater than, less than, and equal to, greater than and equal to. You do have to use a double equals for equality. For not equal to, you can either use less than, greater than, or you can use the much cooler fun way, exclamation mark equals. In is an odd one. It's used for attribute dimensions that have hierarchy, and it essentially returns the members matching the attributes beneath that member. So population in medium would return members matching anything in the medium population ranges. I have an example of this in my video for the with ATTR function. For value, it has to be something that it makes sense to compare. So say you have an attribute dimension made of numeric values like 12, 16, 20, and 32, value would probably be a number. If the attribute dimension is text, like package type, value would be something like bottle. For your date type attribute dimensions, you do have to remember to use the at to date function, T-O-D-A-T-E, in the value argument to convert your text string to a date value. And then of course, for Boolean attribute dimensions, you can't put true, yes, false, or no. Instead of true or yes, you put a one, because that means true or yes in SBase words. And instead of false or no, you put a zero for the value. And because this is a Boolean function, it will return either a one or a zero, a one if it's true or a false if it's zero. You can use this outside of an if. It's normally used inside of an if, but you can use it outside of an if and then use that result that it will return a one or a zero. So let's cover a simple example. Product is our base dimension. I'm only showing the children of product 100, which is colas for now. You'll notice that 100-10 and 100-20 come in 12 ounce sizes and 100-30 comes in 16 ounce sizes. So when we say is member with attribute ounces greater than 12, in our example here, we would get back a single member, 100-30. And if we were on that member, it would return a true. If we were on a different member, 100-10, 100-20, 100, 200, 300, 400 diet, or product, it would return false. So again, true, meaning a one, or a false, meaning a zero. Let's say we were testing for equality. So are the ounces equal to 16? Well, if the member that we happen to be processing as we're passing through the database is 100-30, it's gonna return a true. Now, this is the same thing as is member wrapped around an attribute where I hard code ounces underscore 16. For that matter, I could just use the is attribute function. Now, personally, I'd use the last one, even though it's not faster, which it probably is. It's just a whole lot easier to read. I'm just showing you that in Calc Scripts, there are several methods to get the exact same result and I could probably come up with a few more if I had to like an is member wrapped around a with ATTR all other factors being equal most importantly performance go with the easiest to read you'll thank me later